Welcome to Let's Bricks. No, Let's Build Bricks. No, Learn Bricks. I'm JP and it's a Thursday and we do some bricks. Now, actually last week when I looked at the first in the Let's Build series for this channel, we had worked with the release candidate for release 1.4 and just last night announced release candidate 2. So it's still testing going on. We want the bugs gone. So we support the longer testing to make sure everything works perfectly once it goes up to your live website. So this is not for your live websites. This is for testing. And I think often when you have sites and you don't have time to play around and test, it's nice to see a little video here and there to see what's new. Short video, you can go and download the release candidate too if you want to. I want to show you one of the features I'm really excited about, and that is this one, drag elements directly into the structure panel. Felix requested this back in December 29 last year. And the idea is that you drag an element and you place it in the place where you want it to be within the structure panel. And it really works. Let me show you. From my page here, I'll add a structure for us. Let's start here with the full width section. And as you know, there are a number of ways you can do it. You can click here on your last container and then go to the elements and simply click on what you want to add. And these guys will drop below how your flex box has been set up. The other way that you can do it is the drag and drop. Whoop, there we go, where you see the thick yellow line. I really like the thick lines. Not entirely sure when the thick lines were added, but really I love the visual cues. It's not that I'm going blind. I just think it's really obvious where it has to go. What you can do now is if you want to add a divider there between that, what is that, the icon box or the image and the button, simply grab the divider element here and drag it to the structure and you will see the yellow line appears and you have the same flexibility to drop it where you want it to go as well as move it up a level or down a level. So let's put it there and there we go. There's the divider. If I want to bring in a heading below the divider, you know, this is so smooth and so quick. Brilliant. And that's it. Nice little feature. Looking forward to that in the full release of Bricks 1.4. From me, JP, stay safe and go well.